Hello, welcome to Access. I'm Rob. Joining us today is Rosie. Hello. Rosie, I believe right now we are watching you at the controls uh, of me... Resident Evil Resistance. Yes, let me just correct you there, Rob. We're looking through the eyes of a mastermind in Resident Evil Resistance. Oh, right. <laughs> because literally, uh, this Explain, is... Explain, please, Rosie. <laughs> this is the mastermind mode for Resident Evil Resistance, which will be coming alongside Resident Evil 3 uh, on PS4s, and I'm very, very, very excited. So, I'm very, very excited because um, I got to play a build of the game alongside many other people in the area. And literally, we had so much fun doing it. And it, I just got to mess people up for a good a good amount of time, so, let's say. <laughs> I mean, t tell me what this is, Rosie, because, like, I don't know much about this. It's coming with Resident Evil 3. Yes. And it's just, it's multiplayer only. This is like a an asymmetrical one versus four multiplayer madness thing so just tell me how it works yeah so how it works is that you've got one player who's the mastermind so in this situation it's me I'm the mastermind right so uh, basically I've got control of this whole area at the moment the right. survivors are in a casino and I want to prevent them from escaping they have three areas that they need to escape. For example, this is the first area in the casino. And I want to do everything in my power to make sure that, in my eyes, the scientific experiment works and the survivors uh, okay. pass away. Let's so say. you are you are the one of the 1v4 at the moment. Yes. So everyone is basically against me and I'm just being horrible to everyone. So, for example, just then I saw that girl, Becca, her name is. She was walking up to the door. I slammed the door in her face and right. I locked it. So you're like a, you're playing as essentially an AI in control of like doors and stuff yes so well each when you play the game you've got four mastermind characters you can pick from you've got Annette Birkin Daniel F uh, Fabron or Fabron Alex Wesker and Oswald E. Spencer and each of them kind of have their own little backstories but also they've got their own skill sets to them right um, so for example at the moment I'm playing as Daniel Daniel's my favourite I fell in okay. love with him <laughs> And he has, each character's got an ultimate weapon as well. And Daniel's ultimate weapon is to control Tyrant, also known as Mr. X. You know, right. the, the big monster I in the trench coat and the hat. I remember the, yeah, the thing that made me stop playing Resident Evil 2, yes. Exactly. <laughs> so it's amazing because I got to play as the Tyrant, which is so much fun. And we might even see a little bit of that later on. So what, you get to play as the Tyrant too. How does, how, how do you do that? Yeah, so what you do is, for example, when you plant a zombie, for example, in an area, much like how you can lock doors, turn off lights in the area, uh -huh. you can also control like some elements that you put down be it if you put a uh, mine down some of them you can detonate automatically zombies if you put them down if you hold square like you can see there that means that you can control them and attack the survivors or like by yourself however it does mean that you don't have the perspective right, just like so, we're doing oh, so, over here so right so you can sort of hop into some of the zombies that you put down and be that is I mean, that is exciting, right? Playing as a zombie in Resident Evil. For, it's amazing. Finally. So literally, like, like, when I first played this, I immediately just controlled all the zombies I wanted to. But obviously, the downside of that is then that I lost sight of everything that's going on around right. me. Okay. So you can jump in and out of the zombies, or if the zombies, you know, if they get killed by the survivors, you just go back into your camera mode. Uh, you can equip guns to your camera, which is what I just did. So you can have a limited amount of bullets, shoot them at people, and that will take some of their health as well. Um, yeah, you've got the track of mines and stuff, and you basically just are flicking through cameras all the time, trying to keep an eye on everything to make sure that those survivors do not complete their goal. Right, and this, this timer that's counting down that we can see in the top middle, um, what, what, what is that for? So that is basically how long the survivors have. Okay. Uh, so at the moment they've got two minutes, like two minutes, 30 seconds to get out. And uh, if they don't, they all die. And my experiment was successful right. and they all lose. Okay. Um, and so I that's, dance that's your goal. <laughs> and then this is the best bit. So now you're controlling Mr. X. Yes, I am indeed. So you can see at the bottom, I've got like different attacks I can use. Yeah. Uh, some of them are, this is where just like when you play with the character. Pulverize. Yes. yes. Like you've got different attacks. Uh, some of them take longer than others. Some of them are nicer quick. But for example, I think it's pulverize or one of them. It's just if no other survivors take you down, you just kill that survivor. Wow. And you feel so powerful and amazing. <laughs> Man. And so you can see them all freaking out right now because I'm just running around as this a tyrant. Is, this is great. I definitely want to be 
the one of the 1v4 when I'm playing this. It's, it's just like amazing. It's like the Christmas maze almost, isn't it? <laughs> Honestly, the, the I haven't Resi felt... style. I haven't felt so powerful in so long. I was on the chair, like, just <laughs> laughing away as I saw everyone, like, the four survivors just looking really intense or going, oh, my God, just as I messed them up. It was oh, the best is, feeling ever. That must be amazing. Um, oh, yeah. And later in the video, are, are we going to see you playing as as the four survivors? Yes. So um, we've also got, yeah, so we can see how everything looks from the perspective okay. of a survivor. And I guess for a game like this, balancing it is is really crucial so when you were playing it i guess you've played both sides yes did you feel like with each scenario you had like a, a fair chance of winning i honestly i really did um because at first when i was the mastermind i thought oh this is gonna be easy like this is gonna be great but because the areas are so big first of all the mastermind has to consider so much and the four characters are running all over the place right so you've really got to prioritize who you want to like focus on what you want to do um, and then also from the survivor's perspective, you're there like trying to communicate with all the other survivors and everything, trying to come up with a plan. You've got your own goal, so you're trying to survive, complete the goal, and you've got a time limit on you. So you really do feel the pressure all around. And there were so many moments where, for example, uh, we had like a minute left to escape. I mean, even these guys, they've got around 50 seconds left to escape and complete their task. Well, I hope they don't because, because you're playing as the mastermind at this point yeah so like this is literally i saw the countdown happening and i thought right okay this is it i've got to get them so you can see i'm planting zombies all around them i am making sure they're not doing anything the red smoke is like a dart i use to make them more angry basically right and see look zombie got her which is amazing are you able to just infinitely place zombies down or is there like a, a resource meter no, so the cards at the bottom, they've all got different points. Right. And basically, uh, you've got a certain amount you can spend. Also, just winning. Just well saying. done, Rosie. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, so you've the got... The diabolical mastermind is victorious. <laughs> <laughs> but of course. Uh, so you've got a certain amount of points, which I was told regenerate over time. Um, and your ultimate weapon. So, for example, this is a net gameplay right now. And she has Birkin just plopping him right down there in front of two helpless survivors. Um, they oh, charge up over time and what you get in your card deck in terms of the order is random so you've like you've got a plan what you want to spend at what point uh, if you for example want a really tough zombie you're gonna have to wait until the card either comes up on your deck or your points just regenerate um, so but trust me like I did not notice anything like that really happening because right. I was so focused on everything that was going around me I this, really did feel like you know looks... in the films when they're got all the computers <laughs> <laughs> this looks so much fun i honestly cannot wait to just terrorize people like this honestly it was amazing i was telling everyone afterwards like i was just <laughs> maniacally laughing the whole time and this poor person over here whoever was this character <laughs> he ran in the corner and i saw the oh, like person fool. playing as him and i was like oh you're not escaping my friend <laughs> It must be terrifying as well, knowing that you're running, if you're playing as, you know, as one of the survivors, you're running from an actual human. Yeah. Controlled zombie or whatever this thing is. Yeah, whatever this is. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And I mean, technically I probably should have been going for multiple people then, but that poor guy, I was like, I'm just going to completely oh, gang I up on him. I'd be with you. Sir. So right now, this is it. We flipped now. You're playing as one of the survivors. Yes. So now we've seen the mastermind. This is what happens from a survivor's perspective. Uh, so you have got a couple of characters you can pick from. Uh, so, for example, at the moment, I'm a character called Tyrone. And each character has their own sort of like special skills, just like how the masterminds have their own different new ultimate right. weapons. These guys have their own special skills. Um, so I believe Tyrone had like a really, he, he can shout, I believe, which basically boosts everyone's morale. And I think it m either raises their defense or basically it just improves them a bit better. Okay. So, so, at the moment, so right now, sorry to interrupt. Oh, not at all. The mastermind. Can the mastermind see what you're doing right now? Yes. Okay. So right now, the, yeah, so the mastermind is constantly seeing what you're doing. Um, there's only one type of room which they can't see, which is kind of like a safe room. Think okay. of it like that. Right. Um, and basically what you want to do is complete your goal and then get all of the characters to the exit. 
you can escape by yourself because I accidentally nearly did it. But <laughs> don't spoil it. Right video, Rosie. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but you don't really want to do that because it's just not very nice, really, isn't it? I mean, you want to all get out here together, have a cup of tea afterwards, and have a jolly old time being survivors. I mean, that's my interpretation of this situation, anyway. And for example, this creature over here is what the mastermind put down because they were playing as Alex Wesker's character. Okay. And this is her ultimate weapon. It's a giant plant that can eat, look, I believe it can eat you and make you poisonous and stuff. And you can tell I'm trying to keep away from it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just hang back there, Rosie. Let everyone else on the team <laughs> fight it. Well, I saw that my fellow my fellow friend dropped a key, so I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. And then, of course, you get too close to it, and now I'm freaking out because the oh, mastermind no. has completely got me. It was such a beautifully placed ultimate weapon as well because it's right in the middle of where we want to be. So um, we all started freaking out, of course. And I believe that round that we sadly failed. <laughs> so we cut there. <laughs> so don't, we cut don't there. watch and don't see any more of that. Don't want to see any more of that. So the characters that you play as, the survivors that you play as, um, are they just like new characters or, yes. or so, are some of them like, have we seen them in Resi before? No, these are all completely new characters. They are just, as far as I'm aware, they're just people who are sadly captured by Umbrella and put into a hor <laughs> horrific experiment. Wow. So this is an example of all of us. Uh, we've completed our task and we want to gather at the exit. So you, the mastermind is watching us this whole time. So you can see there's a camera above us yeah. and they were planting zombies everywhere. And we just wanted to all gather at the exit. So it's moments like that where you're like, come on, everyone, we can do this together. And this is an example of when the lights go out. Oh, no. Well, the mastermind has done this. Yes. The mastermind, just like how I did it in the casino, um, they turned all the lights off. And it's terrifying. Wow. This was, I think this was the first time I experienced the lights going out. And honestly, I was like... Oh, my God. What? Just the flash of the gunfire illuminating that terrifying thing then. Yeah. And then literally, they also locked the door. So now I've got to try and wow. barge through oh, that, that to get this out. This is cool. So I take it when you're playing as one of the four survivors, communication with the others is, like, massively crucial. Absolutely. I mean, even this, for example, the mastermind just put a tyrant just in the middle of a really tight situation. And I was the first one who spotted him because he spawned right next to me. So I remember at that point I was screaming, it's Mr. X, there's a tyrant, get out of here. Um, and for example, if I maybe didn't scream that immediately, Tyrant could have right. done a good old wallop on one of us. You know what I'm thinking, Rosie? What are you thinking? I'm just thinking of the streams. Of the oh. streams that we can do in this office. Oh, trust me, as soon as I was playing this. Oh, it's going to be amazing. I really want to do a, re a big old group thing with all of us because honestly, it is amazing. And I mean, even right now, I'm just running around the table in panic because I know I've got somewhere I need to be. But Baxi, the Tyrant, I'm the mastermind. Yeah, look at him. I mean... He's going to come up really... Look at that. <laughs> I only just managed to escape. And me and Tyrone over here, we're just green like... Green herbs. Don't green worry herbs, about the green herbs. Everything. Well, my health's doing all right. You can tell from the left that those are like the character's health yeah. and everything. So I thought I'd save my brother Tyrone. Nice. He, Mr. X is down. He's down. Um, oh, and also, these are supply zombies. So sometimes in the game, a supply zombie will drop. And basically, when you kill them... Uh, they drop loads of items for you and stuff, which okay. will help you out. So the mastermind has not put the supply zombies in there. I can't fully remember. I don't believe they do. Right. Um, but sadly, I can't fully remember on that one. It'd I think I was too busy focusing <laughs> on what was happening that I was just like, just put zombies down everywhere. And, and can you can you respawn? Say if you die, yes, you, you get to respawn. Yes, you, you do got get like to a respawn. Limited number of respawns or. I don't know if there's a number of respawns, but basically if a bad action happens to you, then the timer at the top, it goes, you lose some seconds. Right. So at the moment we're doing good things, which means our time is going up. Um, whereas if you, for example, get attacked by a zombie or bitten or something like that, right. you lose time. So, so when time you die... It's sort of like a, almost like a scoring system as well. Yeah, pretty much. So when you die, you lose, I think it was like 30 seconds or something. Right, I gotcha. Um, and this is another moment where it's all dark and there are dogs involved. Oh, I hate dogs. Dogs are the worst. Like, zombie dogs are so much worse than zombie humans because, you know, they're fast. You can't shoot them as effectively. Oh, yeah, no, honestly, they're horrible. And they're even worse camera. when you can't see. And I focused on that camera because the mastermind thought they could get a couple of bullets in me. So I decided just to shoot that camera down. <laughs> what which, fools that, that mastermind is. Yeah, so which temporarily then shut down their camera until it's fixed. 
And this is an example of me cowarding away from uh, William Birkin. <laughs> I mean, I would be as well. <laughs> I don't in this really, really nice looking sort of diner area. Isn't it? Yeah, just... Well, I didn't really cower away. I'm more... There is a point. Um, oh, that, it looks pretty cowardly to me, Rosie. Well, that big tube that's oh in the God. room. <laughs> See, Get I did back try. in there. Get back in there. Yeah, shut the door. <laughs> shut the... Yes, part. good. <laughs> And then you cut. <laughs> and then I cut. Well, no, that's because I discussed with my team a plan that when this tubey thing opened, I'd be the one in the room and I'd be like, right, I'm here immediately. I'll take this out. And also, Birkin already killed one of my team members. So I was like, okay, Birkin's pretty busy. I'm just going to stay in here. However, the mastermind knew I was in here. So this is a prime example of how not to b- live. So you can see oh the dear. mastermind put loads of zombies in oh there. Oh, dear. Explosive, explosive. It's all gone badly for you, Rosie. I feel like the mastermind is p- picking on you particularly right now. The mastermind was laughing in hysterics at this point, and then he looked at me with the biggest smile on his face because he knew what he did. <laughs> and meanwhile, I was screaming on the, just be like, guys, help me! Oh, this is bad, this is bad. Which is why everyone then came to join in the fight and help me out. And then this is uh, January. Her name is, and she's got a really cool ability because she can hack cameras. Okay. So uh, basically she can turn cameras off for a certain amount of time, which is really handy when, let's say you're going to the final exit, you will want to try and keep safe and you can just disable the Mastermind's camera for a little bit. Right. Um, I should also say as well, you sit on the bottom right, you've got R1 and L1 and R1, both which have two different abilities. Um, so for example, I used R1 just to temporarily shut down the camera. But I was too panicked to do L1 and R1 because I was too busy focusing on what was going on. So right. I just thought, quickly, turn that off, it's done. Um, but at the moment, again, we're all trying to get to the exit. Um, and I remember this situation because one of our teammates went missing and he didn't know where he was, bless him. We all heard him go, I don't know where I am, but I've got the final <laughs> puzzle piece to escape. So myself and Valerie, who's the uh, girl in the yellow jumper, we thought, okay, we'll just keep the exit safe as much as possible. The mastermind was obviously making this very horrible and tough for us. Yeah. And meanwhile, we're just trying to, I think the rest of the team were trying to find our missing comrade. Oh, no. Oh, no. I know. Oh, no. Your face is being eaten. (laughs) I know. It was really tough. And for example, that character in the blue is Martin, and he can put electrical traps down because he's like a tech wizard. Oh, better late than never, Martin. <laughs> he was busy looking for our friend. Yeah, sure and he was. There we go, managed to find him. And then because of that, we all should be escaping once everything stopped exploding. Nice. There we go. Success. We all made it out. And Shoot. then I've just got one more little thing that I really wanted to show everyone. Okay. So you know how earlier I saw Birkin and I cowered it away from him, but yes. in a planning way. In a planning way. In a planning yes. way. This time, we've got Birkin, but in the dark. Oh, no. <laughs> and I was thinking, okay. Why would the mastermind do this? Because the mastermind is evil. <laughs> Everything about the mastermind is pure evil and it's terrifying. So I'm right next to Birkin and I thought, yeah, I'll just shut that camera down. I, it's fine, which was a really dumb idea. And the mastermind has just immediately bombarded this area with everything bad. You can see the chaos that's happening. And already at this point, I was focusing on Birkin, forgot about the speedy dog, and it's just not having a good time, really. Oh, no. Ah. It's all gone wrong. All gone wrong. It's all gone wrong for you, Rosie. Sadly, as you can probably guess, this was one of my sad moments where we you all died. You are dead. We all died. So this has been Resident Evil Resistance, which comes with Resident Evil 3 on the 3rd of April this year. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date with the world of PlayStation. For the players.